I uh, just want to do a quick video here and show you how to use the Easy Track design tool. And uh, I'm going to go into start a design up here at the top and uh, down where it says design your closet, the green bar, click on that. Then you pick if it's a reach in or a walk in. I'm going to pick a, a walk in at this point. That'll bring up the, the uh, screen that you see here. We're going to click enter your dimensions. And I could enter my dimensions here for a standard rectangular or square closet. But I'm going to click draw your own, which will allow you to do different shaped walls. Click continue. And we want to start in the lower left hand corner, the left return wall. Let's say that's 24 inches. If I wanted to make that 30 inches, I'd go over here on the right. You see the 24 highlighted. I'll enter 30 and enter. And that extended that to 30 inches there. I want to pick up the little circle here. Continue that. We'll go 10 feet, 120 inches. Let's say 150. 100 and, and we've got that 126, but I can change that easily. On the right, go to 120. And then another return wall. 30 inches there. So once I'm uh, done with the, the layout, or I'm sorry, with the, the walls, we want to click Auto Layout. And if we want corner shelves, we'll click Add Corner at this point after we've clicked Auto Layout. Highlights the corners where a corner shelf, set of corner shelves would fit. If whichever corner I want the, the shelf in, I, I click that. If I want another set of corner shelves, I would just add corner again. But uh, in this case, um, I'm not going to do that. And I'm just going to click Save and Continue. And that'll bring up the, the layout. There's an auto layout function. And I can go to any of the walls, either here in this view or over on the right where it says the, uh, the different walls there. Click on wall A. And if I want to change that section here with the drawers to, let's say, all shelving, I click on the section. And I go over to the right, the pull down menu, and I'll go to shelves. That gives me different options. I can click on that. Then, once I'm in a section, I'll double click a couple times, and then I can click on each component, either move the component up and down, like that shelf there, or even delete it. And then we'll pull the shelf above down. So um, then I can go to each of the sections and, and make the same changes. If I want to, for instance, let's go back to wall B. And if I want to make this section shorter, I can either drag, oops, click on the blue here, and I can, I can drag the section. Click on do because I don't want to do that. Or I can actually click here where it has the dimensions written up at the top. And in this pop up menu, I can change them with this uh, pull down, or I can actually customize the, the actual dimensions here. For instance, 33 inches. Uh, but once I'm all done, I'll click over in the area not highlighted, and then I'll click Kits and Design. That brings up this pop-up on the left. Now I'll click Print Plans. 
a PDF will come up listing all of the kits, like what were listed before, but it also shows the different walls, the layout from the top view, and then the kits needed and what's in all the kits. Once again, all the hardware is in the kits. Uh, those aren't listed in this printout. But I can print that out. I can save it as a PDF and to my hard drive and then be able to email it to a customer. But if you have other questions, uh, give us a call. One nice other one other nice thing is that we can click 3D view over here and it's great to be able to show customers what their closet's going to look like in that perspective as well. If I want to change the colors, those are over here on the left. And that'll change the part number to reflect the color that you've chosen.